One of the hottest issues on the ballot right now is question one. Joining us now to talk more about it is 13 Action News political analyst John Ralston. And John, uh, you hosted your own debate on the issue today. Yeah, we had both uh, sides in today. We're going to do this for all of the major questions, the marijuana and the energy choice question as well. And I, I had someone who was being funded by the NRA on and someone who was being funded by what? Michael Bloomberg, you know, the Everytown folks. So you have out-of-state interests. And this would be a background check initiative that would have some exceptions but would essentially uh, force private sales to have background checks. And I asked the representative from the NRA about that. Let me just ask you. Polling shows overwhelming support for this. You, you know that. Maybe you'll tell me you have different polling numbers. Background checks always seem very popular. It, the, the, the argument is even gun owners say some background checks are all right. The way they wrote this initiative, basically, is they took what happened in the legislature and they said they addressed some of the concerns Governor Sandoval has. No family-to-family -family transfers aren't going to be included. There's a temporary transfer provision. What's your beef? Well, our beef is that those exceptions, and I'll, I'll say that the governor also still has a beef with it, those exceptions are complex, confusing, and too narrow. This is going to criminalize legal transactions that occur right now across the state. And that's Ryan Hamilton of, of, of the group that's fighting it. And Jennifer Crow, who was also on there, says that the exceptions are reasonable. It was actually a very, very interesting back and forth between uh, these two. You can see it on KTNV's website later tonight and tomorrow. It'll be question two, that debate over legalizing marijuana.